Welcome, Vault Dwellers. My name is Nacho Bidness. We're going to do part three of Somerville Place today, and we're going to talk about the business end of quote unquote farming dogs. Of course, the full backstory was in part one, but in short, swamp folk have moved in to Somerville Place and they train dogs to sell, and the dogs are vicious, and so are the training methods. Side note, I have no electricity in the settlement except for two switches. So they get their water from this windmill over here. Dogs that wash out of training are, well, they're butchered and sold to potential customers as hot dog. <laughs> Any potential customer or anybody else can come over here and watch the dogs fight and see how vicious they are, but VIPs get to sit in this area here. Of course, they're reminded that there is free delivery, all sales are final, and they are not responsible for dead scavers around here. So the VIP can have a seat and maybe have a snack, and then when he's ready, he can flip the switch here and get a demonstration. Uh, oops, wrong switch, I guess. There we go. <laughs> get a demonstration of just how vicious these dogs are. Most of the time that mutant hound will get that guy in one hit. I guess it took two this time. Now to train these dogs, they do have a training shed over here. I've actually got 20 plus dogs here. And I mentioned in part one that I do not care for Creation Club. It's not a knock on anybody that likes it. It's just not for me. So I got all these dogs by buying them off of the Super Mutant that sells dogs up in Far Harbor. If you wait a week after you buy all three of the dogs that he sells, he will sell you three more. So that's where I managed to get all the dogs that are around here. They're pretty much running around everywhere. The trainer for the dogs is a slave. You can see that he is, in fact, wearing a bomb collar. There's a lot of drugs here, and we'll get to those in another part. In the meantime, there are some persuaders over here for when the dog's not doing what it's supposed to do. And there's also a blowtorch and tongs and a lot of acid. They are just utterly cruel to these animals in their training process. They start out by attacking this very slow and fake looking dummy and move on to a more realistic mannequin before they finally end up in the arena and for sale down there. There is some meat here that is used to reward dogs that are doing well in the training. So that is training and selling the dogs here at the dog farm. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more, be sure and subscribe. Next time we're going to talk about probably that uh, cabin over there and maybe this trailer here. And if you didn't like, please tell me why in the comments and I will try very hard to do better for you next time. My name is Nacho Bidness and I'm saying it's a great big wasteland out there. Let's go have fun in it.